people ask me all the time, what, what did it, Joe? Uh, what fundamentally turned you on Trump? Uh, what was it, Joe? A bunch of things, the accumulation of a lot of things. But if I were to pinpoint the one thing that, that firmly moved me away from him and, and, and made it so I could never, ever support him, it's that he lies. He lies all the time. I can't support that in a president. I just can't. I don't care who the president is. I don't care if he's a conservative Republican and he gives me a lot of policies I like. I cannot support a president who lies to me pretty darn much every time he opens his mouth. I can't do it. Um, and I know what you're thinking. Well, then why'd you vote for him in 2016? I'm guilty of not paying attention to Trump. I didn't pay enough attention to him during that campaign. I didn't, I didn't really start to really pay attention to him until after he got elected. And when I started to pay attention to him after he got elected, uh, pretty quickly I realized, oh my God, the guy lies all the time. I mean, he lies every time he opens his mouth. He lies damn near every time he sends out a tweet. He lies. It was that. I, I find that repulsive and, and maybe it, it goes to because I'm a conservative because I'm very wary of government. I fear government in a lot of ways and I, I worry about a government trying to control me and intimidate me uh, and I certainly don't want my government lying to me. So here we have a president who lies to the American people multiple times every single day and he lies about everything big and small crowd size a deadly virus he lies about everything uh and his lies are echoed by his media cheerleaders and it's always made me incredibly sad that trump supporters don't mind that he lies. Uh, by the way, here was Trump this morning. <laughs> here was Donald Trump this morning. Uh, he signed an executive order uh, about statues and monuments because, you know, that's what Trump's focused on. Trump's moved on from the virus. Did he tell you? Hey, did I tell you the virus is gone? It's over. Trump moved on. We got nothing to worry about with the virus. Trump's talking about statues and monuments now. That's what he cares about. Uh, race relations, no problem in the country. Police brutality, no problem. The pandemic, uh, the economics, everything's fine. He's moved on. It's all about statues and monuments, don't you know? It's all about statues and monuments now. That's all Trump cares about. So... <clears throat> Donald Trump signed an executive order earlier today having to do with uh, uh, statues and monuments. This is what Donald Trump said earlier today. Word for word, the president of the United States. Here goes. Here's Trump. We signed a bill. You play with our monuments or our statues, you go to jail for 10 years. I want to read that again. This is what Donald Trump said word for word earlier today. We signed a bill. You play with our monuments or our statues, you go to jail for 10 years. End quote. That's what Trump said. Every word of that is a lie. Every word of what Donald Trump said right there is an absolute lie. And what makes me sad is 
uh, uh, all of Trump's followers who watch Fox News and listen to Rush Limbaugh and all the rest, they'll never be told this. So they'll believe everything Trump just said. Hey, did you hear? Did you hear? Donald Trump signed a big bill today. He didn't sign a bill. He issued an executive order. He didn't sign a bill. Donald Trump said, I signed a bill. That's a lie. He did not sign a bill. He issued an executive order. He didn't sign a bill that says, okay, here's the deal now. If you mess with our monuments or our statues, you go to jail for 10 years. That penalty is already in a 2003 law. Donald Trump didn't sign a bill. He didn't make some new law this morning. All he did was issue an executive order that said, blah, 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 blah. We need to pay attention to the 2003 law. It's in his executive order. That's all it is. It's already by law. You could go to jail for up to 10 years because of a 2003 law. Way before Donald Trump became president, you could already go to jail for 10 years if you damage or deface public monuments and statues. So Trump didn't sign a law. He didn't enact new penalties. He didn't do anything new. This has been the law in the country for 17 years. Donald Trump lied. Bullface lied what he did this morning. And none of his followers will care. Donald Trump yesterday in an interview about Joe Biden said, Joe Biden wants to defund and dismantle police departments all over the country. Donald Trump said that about Joe Biden. Joe Biden wants to defund and dismantle police departments. That is a lie. Joe Biden specifically came out three weeks ago and said, I do not support defunding the police. Joe Biden went to great lengths to separate himself from the whole defund the police movement. Donald Trump lied. Donald Trump yesterday about Joe Biden also said that when Joe Biden at his press conference two days ago, Donald Trump said Joe Biden was fed the questions beforehand and he read the answers to the questions from the media off of the teleprompter. That's what Donald Trump said. Joe Biden read the answers to the questions off of the teleprompter. He was fed the questions before the press conference. That is a lie. Joe Biden did not read the answers to the questions off of the teleprompter. He was not given the questions to his press conference before the press conference. That is a lie. Donald Trump lied about what Joe Biden did. Now, I could go on because Donald Trump lies almost every time he opens his mouth. Why am I so anti-Trump? Because of this. Because of this. Shame on any American who condones this level of dishonesty. A president who lies to us Almost every time he opens his mouth. Shame on anybody who accepts that.